Okay, Anime Vice. Uh, I'm I'm Will McQuig, uh, you know, Saudi <laughs> fan 16, and this is my buddy TJ, and we're gonna present to you today the Funimation release of Claymore the uh, Blu-ray. Everything, all 26 seasons of or 26 episodes <laughs> of the first season and everything. So uh, we're gonna talk to you a bit about that today. We got a little bit to uh, talk about and everything, so we'll get right at that. Um, first off is the sub sub versus dub topic, and uh, Tito, I'll, I'll let you start off with that because you prefer sub. Yeah, sub so, sub so, sub so is definitely better. Uh, in, in in this particular anime, I, I definitely recommend watching sub versus dub because uh, the, the the dub version just kind of really doesn't bring out the impact of everything it said. You know, uh, facial actions. Uh, you know, just the overall general feel of it. Uh, whereas sub, I mean, you, you've got it in its native language, so it, it, it conveys more than than the dub does. So I, I think that that would be the major reason why I would I would recommend it being sub for sure. Yeah, um, I, I I definitely uh, I, I watched the series first when when it first came out in uh, what uh, two thousand. Nine is that right? Yeah, uh, I think so. Is that right? Two thousand nine. Uh, uh, seven. Uh, Original run seven. What, what's that? What's that say? On the side. On the side. Oh, it goes down. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, two two thousand seven. Okay, it, it was two thousand seven. Seven. It started in Japan, and uh, I that's when I first started watching it, uh, and uh, I definitely like the sub a lot as well, as especially as far as the voices go. Um, but uh, I just recently got this Blu-ray, or uh, the Blu-ray for from Funimation. Obviously, Funimation does the uh, hybrid of the the dub and subbed. And uh, despite my love for the sub of of this series, I have to say that I, um, the dub grew on me as a part. But I I gotta admit, uh, Rocky. Uh, it definitely sounds like a pussy to start <laughs> to start off at the very least, if not especially towards the end of the series as well. Oh, but yeah. I, was, uh, I was seriously upset with, with with the way they portrayed him at the end of it. It just it, it didn't have any kind of feeling or impact at all. Um, yeah, I mean, I I still felt like the the dub had an impact to the character, but in the end, it kind of fell short to the sub, so, yeah. um, I mean, if you're a dub fan, I would definitely say, you know, go for the, go for the dub, I mean, it's not bad, it takes a little getting used to, but it's not bad, but, uh, sub is certainly, uh, the, the way to go, agreed? Uh, agreed, for sure. Uh, okay, um, next thing. I say that a lot, don't I, for sure? Eh, it's no big deal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, continuing. Uh, our next subject is the animation of the Blu-ray. Um, obviously, I, I definitely saw it when it was being sub. When, when did you start watching it? Uh, I watched it when it first came out. So obviously, the the, the streaming. Yeah, the streaming. So what? The streaming's not going to be at, the, at the time. What streaming was probably three sixty. Yeah. Uh, well. And I was saying, no, it was, it was 480 in uh, at, at, at tops, at yeah. tops, if you're lucky. Yeah. Uh, and if you got it on, 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 the, on the latest uh, uh, player, so... Yeah, so Funimation, I'm pretty sure, is still streaming it in, uh, in uh, what, in that, what, 420 maybe? Uh, on, no, on their no, site. no, Funny, funny streaming it in, in 720. Yeah, Funnies, uh, we're pretty sure, is streaming in uh, 720p, I'm pretty sure, yeah. uh, through their Hulu player on the, on, uh, the Funimation video Which website. sucks. <laughs> okay, commercials suck, but we can do that another time. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, the, the animation-wise, though, especially uh, Standard, I, I liked it when I was first watching it in sub. I've, I felt it was pretty good, especially for the time. And uh, that, you know, uh, things really flowed. The action uh, had a lot to it and everything. And so uh, it, it definitely went together a lot. And then I think the, uh, yeah, now the Blu-ray is in a 1080i upscale. And uh, Which is I, I, obviously going to be way better than anything you're going to see streaming. But, but uh, I mean, it, it's still one of the best ones out there in the best quality that, that that's streaming. Um, yeah. I, I've watched a lot of anime 
uh, most of it streaming, so uh, I feel pretty confident saying that uh, it's definitely one of the best ones out there that's been kept the, the original way it's supposed to be seen. So Yeah, and I'd, I'd say Funimation did a pretty good job with the upscale. I know a lot, a lot of people have, tr have uh, problems with c comparing the original streams and, and uh, airings with the Blu-ray upscales. And I know that Funimation does uh, the pr primary uh, contribution to Blu-ray upscales. And I'd say that this is pretty good for 1080i and everything. I mean, uh, I, know, I know the series obviously wasn't made for it, but I'd say the 1080i looks good. I mean, obviously, if you got an HD TV and you're watching it on full screen on your Blu-ray player, uh, it, it looks good. I, I'd it say, does, I mean, does. full full screen is a good way to view <laughs> anime, uh, especially when it comes to Blu-ray. Having that full screen is very nice compared to your four to three. Yeah, it's not. It's nice having that sixteen to nine scale. Yeah, and that's wide scale. That's wide screen, by the way. Yeah, sixteen by nine. Yeah, I mean, I know. <laughs> sixteen to nine is always good. Uh, ne next up, I want to talk about uh, characters. Obviously, first off, uh, you got Claire. Uh, Claire is, you know, a Claymore who's sitting there and just trying to right the wrongs, but she works for an organization that wants to uh, eliminate the Yoma and everything, and uh, she picks up a little boy, all that shit, and so, uh, I mean, and she, she technically, at the base of it, she wants, Claire wants revenge. Yeah, because uh, she was a lonesome child, she got picked up by another Claymore when she was a child, and uh, got real close to her, and she was killed by a Claymore who went past her limit. Yep. And, and, and so... She, she wasn't able to come back, and, and so... Well, because she got beheaded. <laughs> yeah. She got beheaded. That's a, sometimes that's a little hard to come, come back from. Well, yeah, sometimes. I can, I can see it, yeah. <laughs> anyway, but uh, Claire's definitely, obviously she's going to be the protagonist for it, so she's obviously got a strong character, but uh, there, there, there's definitely times where I think she could have a stronger character. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I definitely agree. Yeah, I mean, her, 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 her character grows a little weaker towards the middle of the series, yeah, I'd say. Yeah, and, and sometimes there, there, are some, there are some parts where, you know, she's just got too big of a character. Got too much. I mean, I mean, they, they, the animation tried to uh, deal her up as a very massive character, where it's like, bam, 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 you know, bam, bitch, I'm a badass motherfucking bitch, and you know, this is how shit's gonna be. It, it doesn't quite end up. I mean, it, it's like that, but yeah, it yeah. doesn't quite end up so. And so, uh, she, she, her character gets up. I'd call it uh, fail. Uh, over. Uh, not not a fail, obviously. I'd say it's a fail. Um, it, a slightly overthrown, <laughs> slightly overthrown attempt. <laughs> you know, still a fail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's why we're here for opinions. Yep. <laughs> but no, uh, I think overall they did it all right with her. Uh, you know, like I said, you know, sometimes too strong, sometimes too weak. Yeah. Um. Uh. uh Rocky or Rocky, as uh, generally I would like to say, especially from uh, from the dub. Uh, you know, he's a little kid that gets picked up by Claire. He's a lot like Claire when she was a child, uh, getting picked up by her, her mentor. Um, he's just a little shit. Uh, you know, he's just a little pussy. Yeah. Uh, just, uh, you know, his brother gets uh, eaten by Yoma, so it's his family. family. So, uh, you know, he just tries to go along with her because she uh, shows him a little bit of compassion. Yeah. So he, and, and, he he wants he wants somewhere to belong. Yeah. And the only reason why, why why Claire decided to take him along in the first place was because he was cast out of his village for being related to the person that was you know the Yoma. Yeah, and so you know that's where the connection rolls in. That's primarily where the story rolls around. And so uh, he 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 tries to go along with her. He wants to be strong. He wants to be the man. You know. Yeah. He he wants to be right there. For her taking care of things, even though she's a claymore and she's powerful and is able to fight these uh, monsters called Yoma, it's uh, it's a difficult task for an ordinary human such as Laki. But he does he does accomplish it in the manga. Yeah. <laughs> that is very true. So he, you can look forward to he that. He compensates in the manga, so we'll get that. <laughs> uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, the story, you know, we we gotta talk about. I I know we jumped to the characters, but the story. Uh, 
obviously the story is there's an organization who says that there's an overseas war uh, where they are trying to create these claymores to uh, create combatants for this war overseas to you know fight their enemies and what it is is they found out that men are not very good suitors for the claymore ability. No, they, they, have, they, they have a they have a bigger ego, which which in turn fuel, fuels the transformation and, and and the release of their power. And and to combat that, they, they originally just uh, did it to. Uh, you know, they they put whatever. women in because yeah. uh, they they were less excessive in their use of abilities. They knew better of their limits, as they say. Yeah. And uh, really, you could say there's a good connection of uh, the use of Yuma powers with in connection with the anime uh, and, I guess, uh, comic book slash manga of um, Witchblade. Because, at least with the, with the anime combination, see, um, with Claymore, they found a combination of e uh, ecstasy and uh, violence and everything that is very unique to to uh, this uh, kind of genre, especially to anime, it's, it's very different. And so they, they definitely went along with that game for the Claymore anime of mixing the, the that type of uh, genre with it. You know, just trying to mix in, hey, you know, this is sexy, but yet it's so violent, so we're going to fuck you up. He's an M, by the way. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> So it, it's it's definitely interesting as far as that aspect, and it was just trying to get along with the story, where the primary point of the story is Claire, overall, uh, with Rocky tagging along with her, and she's trying to find Priscilla, who uh, killed the girl, the woman, the Claymore that she was originally traveling with, and so uh, it, it's it basically uh, follows Claire trying to uh, follow, follow that journey of hers in which she becomes stronger and finds that uh, the definition of Claymore isn't all that it uh, is made up to be and along with you know uh, what the organization says it is and what Claymores can actually do and who they can become. And then uh, our final topic that we actually want, want to discuss with you is uh, the anime versus the manga. See, uh, we've both, uh, uh, we, we fell into the anime actually first of Claymore. And then we decided uh, upon finding out that, the, uh, that uh, the manga continues on past the manga, that the manga is actually uh, uh, artificially ended. Uh, because the anime, uh, they made the anime before they were, uh, the manga was far enough. So uh, we, we were definitely curious as to what happened in the manga. So uh, what, what did you find out in the manga from what you read? Uh, well, I haven't, I haven't read past where the anime ends. So up until that point, though, uh, it, it's definitely got more detail. goes into goes into the plot a lot deeper. Uh, and it, it, it generally, generally though, it, it, it keeps the same storyline that the anime does, but it's still, it, it's still definitely worth a read all the way through from chapter one all the way up. Uh, right now, I think it says there's 100, 112 chapters out right now, um, and it, and uh, the anime kind of, kind of leaves off right, right in the middle. So about 60, anywhere between 60 and 70, you should be able to pick up uh, where the anime left off, and uh, it's, it, it's. It's highly recommended that you do because there, there's a there's a lot more in the manga that that you can get out of just the anime. So uh, again, it's it's highly recommended. Yeah, I, I have to totally agree with TJ here. Uh, I picked up the manga after the anime ended in the sixty to seventy rank, chapter range, and I, I don't know the chapter, but I know that uh, the manga just released in uh, the U.S. volume uh, seventeen. And I have to say that I love the manga as far as uh, where I'm pretty sure where the anime ended because there's a lot more action, there's a lot more plot development, there's 
Not not so much as much. Uh, There's a lot more like character. Uh, I I'd, I'd be iffy on the character development. Well, really, actually. the only one that there is is Rocky, though. Yeah, because you know, char- well, Rocky becomes a badass. So keep out for that if you're you know reading the manga and yeah, you know and, uh, are wondering about the where the anime ends up. Yeah, and and the manga picks up seven years after the events, you know, with Clara disappearing and everything. So. Yeah, so that's definitely another con- uh, discontinuation between the anime and the manga. Yeah. So I'd say uh, overall. With how the continuation, I mean, and uh, I, I guess I have to say one more uh, thing with the anime versus manga. Uh, the drawing of the manga compared to the anime is very well, I, I'd say, done. It's, yeah, it's very it's, close it's, to it. It's uh, definitely I, detailed, almost the same exact uh, way. And so I, I'd, I'd definitely say it was done pretty damn well uh, bet- between coming uh, or the transfer from manga to anime. And everything, and uh, we're looking at a couple images here. I'd say it does pretty good. And as far as uh, I guess, uh, we'll, we'll give a little, uh, quick little overview here. Um, uh, overall, I'd say uh, uh, sub would be the best bit over dub. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, I, de- I definitely agree with that. Sub is well. I, I'm always going to say yeah. sub is the way to go, but. <laughs> Yeah, because he's a primarily dub fan, but yeah, yeah. It's, he means just, sub. He means sub. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you again. See, yeah, well, you'll see me do that a bunch. See, this motherfucker yeah, here. Because I'm a smartass. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, but we definitely say sub uh, would be the better way to watch uh, claim more than dub. But if you're a dub fan, uh, this dub is not bad at all. So uh, we'd say you know it's you know it's definitely worth a watch, especially as far as the series goes. Animation, good. If you want to look for that Blu-ray, uh, Right Stuff has it, usually pretty cheap. So, uh, I mean, that Blu-ray is always a pr- pretty decent price. It's so, still, still going to look awesome, even, even on a regular DVD, though, too. So, if you don't want to splurge the extra $20, $30 for how much it's going to cost, go ahead. And, I, I would still recommend regular DVD. Yeah, but if you, li- if you like your full screen HD, go ahead and go for it. Uh, characters, I, I mean, the, the characters are nice. Um, I, I gotta say, uh, really uh, the, a lot the of manga is the, the better part when it comes to character development. Yeah. Uh, the, I mean, the story goes pretty good, and it gets into, uh, obviously, the few primary characters that they get into. But uh, if you really want more insight into the characters, the manga is certainly the way to go. Yeah, for sure. And then, uh, I mean, the story, obviously, uh, the story works. It, it works good for the anime, I'd say, I have to say, overall. Especially with with the action, the action is good. Especially yeah. when you get into la- that last segment. If you buy the Blu-ray, that last six episodes, basically that third disc. Yeah, I mean, just all action. It's really good. I'd It'll say. It'll blow your mind. Con- constant, and I mean, and then uh, other other than that, just kind of go with whatever. And then with the anime versus manga, it's kind of up to you. The an- I mean, the anime is fun. Uh, the manga tops it. Yeah, it definitely tops it because I, I hate it when they when, when when a company picks up picks up a manga for an anime adaptation and then they just cuts it off halfway through. It's just, I mean, it, what what's the point of making you know just half a freaking manga? It just it just pisses me off. That's just me though. Yeah, but I mean, don't worry about it. Uh, Funimation, you know, obviously uh, picked up this Blu-ray and uh, I'm pretty sure you can find the DVD else or also. Um, so Funimation obviously does a good job with their dub and sub and everything. And then um, I'd have to say also... Uh, it's a hit. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it's a nice hit too. So uh, keep an eye on it. I know it's a few years old, but keep an eye on it and everything. And other than that, uh, we'll see you next time. Peace. This is uh, Dunce Cap.